for those that continue to make excuses, Hashem continues in this week's parasha, parashat Azinu. All of these parashot, if you notice, this is the last speech from Moshe Rabbeinu. The last speech from Moshe Rabbeinu. In parashat Azinu, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Hashem gave you all the good. He gave you this, he gave you this, he gave you this, he gave you this. You still went against him. Am naval velochacham. He says, you're a vile and stupid people. Moshe Rabbeinu is saying, and not me, don't get offended for me. Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu is saying, you stupid people. Why stupid people? You know how much he loved Am Yisrael? He was willing to die for Am Yisrael every day. But he's calling them stupid. Why is he calling them stupid? He goes, do you realize what you're going against? You're going against the hand that feeds you, you idiot. You want Parnassah? Where are you going to get Parnassah? Where do you think? You're the one that made the money. You want air? Where, where do you think you're going to get air? You think you're the one that's going to invent air? You want Zivu? Where do you think you're going to get Zivu? Why are you going to find it on your own? You can't go to the bathroom without him. Go try living a day like Rabbi Yudah Nasi with the screaming. How can you go against him? On purpose, nonetheless. That's what makes you stupid. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu was saying. It's religious in your heart thing. It couldn't be stupider. Why? Because it's being intellectually dishonest. Intellectually dishonest. Why? You live in a world where you know there must be rules. You drive in a system... Well, you know, there has to be traffic laws. Why? If there's no laws, there'll be accidents. There'll be chaos. There has to be traffic lights and traffic laws and speeding uh, limits and so on and so forth. Whether you like the laws or not, you know you have to comply with them. Or else you risk getting arrested, getting fined, getting so. Why? Because man invented laws. You live in different countries, whether it be America or it's in Istanbul or it's Australia or it's Israel, wherever it is. You live somewhere, you have to live based on the laws of that government. You like it or not, you want to live there, there has to be laws. Whether they make sense to you or not is irrelevant. You like them or not is irrelevant. You want to live there, you have to comply with the laws or else you risk punishment. You have a family, you have kids. You're going to teach your kids there are laws of the land in this house. Somebody goes into a Yeshiva, he says, hey, I'm here, I'm the Mashiach. Rabbi says, hey, you shut up, you. He goes, oh, what kind of rabbi are you telling people to shut up? I'm a guest, I'm a Mashiach. He goes, no, 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 here, I'm the Mashiach. You come, you raise kids, you tell the kids, hey, there's laws of the land here. I'm Abba, I'm Imam, whatever. There's, you have to follow my laws. Why? If there's no laws, the kids are going to become little Hitlers. That's a reality. There has to be a law. So if man created law, what makes you think that his creator didn't? What makes you think that only the creation can create something that's logical, that's necessary, but its creator wasn't smart enough to figure it out? Just go do whatever you want. Go. Have fun. Have fun. Enjoy. Go into the world and have sex with as many people as you want. Go steal money. Go kill people. Do whatever you want. Just believe in some idiot that died 2,000 years ago and everything's going to be okay. Who told you this stupidity? That's intellectual dishonesty. Why? You have to, you have to mamash, either be crazy or a liar to believe that. To believe that there's no law from the Creator, you have to either be a liar or crazy. If you're crazy, you're patu anyway. You're anus. You're not responsible. Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about all the law. You're crazy. You're like a drunk. If you're a drunk, you don't have to follow any law. They don't, they don't judge you in Shemaim. They say, this guy's a crazy. He's crazy. This is just a crazy person. It's not judged. You can't judge someone that's uh, mentally deficient like you judge somebody that's Einstein. You can't. He's autistic. He's retarded. He's, uh, he's missing half a brain. 
You can't judge him. He says, oh, if somebody's crazy, he's patu. He's absolved of the mitzvot. So if you're that, don't worry about anything that I just said. If you're everything else, and you're still saying, I don't have to follow the law, I'm still going to be religious in my heart, you're a liar. You're a liar. Why? There's laws everywhere else. And you comply with them whether you like it or not. There's traffic laws, government laws, tax laws, regulatory laws. There's laws everywhere you go. Why wouldn't God have laws? Yom Kippur is the opportunity for you to realize, okay, okay, I got to stop messing around. If God gives me another chance this year, I got to do better. Why? Going to pray, it's good, it's great, it's nice, good job. Go pray, have a good time. That's not what Hashem is looking for on Yom Kippur. Hashem is looking for tshuva. Hashem is looking for tshuva. Many people go to the Beknesset and they pray, they pray, they pray, they pray. Some of them even pretend like they're crying. A day later they violate Shabbat. A day later they still eat chazil. A day later they still go back to stealing at work. There's a pasuk for them in the Torah also. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13, he says, In their mouth, in their lips, they honor me, but their hearts are very far away from me. You can say whatever you want to Hashem. Yeah, I love you, Hashem. I love you, Hashem. I love you, Hashem. But in reality, deep down inside, Hashem knows what's going on. He knows you're going to be a sinner tomorrow. He knows you, tomorrow you already have a barbecue set up on Shabbat. He knows tomorrow you already have a deal. You're planning to cheat your customer. He knows tomorrow you're planning on going out and cheating on your wife. He knows. He says, for you, Yom Kippur is not going to help. All the Yom Kippur's in the world are not going to help you. Why? You're, you're making a joke of the system. 